this is the largest natural disaster we've ever experienced. It's going to also be a natural disaster that's going to take an incredible amount of time to recover from. The impact of Maui's devastating wildfires will linger long after the flames are contained, threatening the island's vital tourism industry. Here's what we know now. What will travel to Maui be like? I would say that tourism on Maui is going to be different for a long time. I would say maybe like over a year. And honestly, I think that with the wildfires, the damage it's that they did to Lahaina Town and other really historic and cultural places. It's just not going to be somewhere that when you have the idea of Maui in mind and then you go there after the wildfires, it's not going to be the same or what you think. Will a decrease in travel to Maui hurt residents? People are dealing with the loss of buildings and cultural places that people may not be able to ever visit again. And so a lot of businesses also rely on tourism and they may have lost everything too. So I think a lot of people are wondering what that's gonna look like um, in the future. But I think tourism here will also look different than before. Um, Hawaii was dealing with over tourism, especially uh, Maui. In the beginning of the year, Photos Travel put Maui on this do not visit list because of over tourism. So I think a lot of people will want to rebuild tourism in a way, a more sustainable way. What about traveling to other islands? If you're coming to Hawaii, not to Maui, um, because there are the islands that are more unaffected, um, I would still say keep Maui in mind and think about donating there, seeing what you can do to help um, the people on Maui because the, island, the state of Hawaii is still an island chain and we are very remote and need to be self-sufficient and help each other out. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.